Hi, sixth grade. Welcome back to a wonderful math lesson today. Today we are going to complete 10.2. Um, and our standard we're going to learn about is how to figure out the area of triangles. Also, we're going to do some math magic. Okay, let's do some math magic. So you guys already know how to figure out the area of a parallelogram, right? First off, what is area? It's the units on the surface of this shape, right? This is a parallelogram. How we know? Equal sides, equal sides. And it has four sides, it's quadrilateral. And it has equal side here, equal sides here. Okay, boom, that's a parallelogram, right? Okay, well today, we're not figuring out the area of parallelograms, or are we? Yes, we kind of are, because a triangle is very similar to a parallelogram. So I'm going to demonstrate this with some math magic. So I brought the awesome parallelogram of this right here. Okay, so it's a little big, but let's zoom in here. So we can see that it has a length of 10, and I have the little dotted line, ooh, opposite dotted line here. So it is a height of 50. Okay, you might be wondering like, Mr. Frank, what does this have to do with finding area of triangles? Wait, I'll show you, math magic. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is figure out the area of this parallelogram. So it's base times height. 10 times 50 is what? 500, good job. All right, so we know that this parallelogram has an area of 500, maybe centimeters. Maybe it's inches. I don't know. I didn't put the I didn't put the units here. I'm gonna guess it's probably centimeters, but it's 500. Okay. Let's say this is a triangle, though. Okay. I'm gonna turn this into a triangle. Here I go. Ugh. 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 Need better skizzers. Ugh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Turning it into a triangle. 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 A very badly cut out triangle. Now, this is where, how I can, how can I know what this is? What did I just do with my scissors? I cut this in half, right? I took half of it away. I said, you're no longer a parallelogram. You're a triangle. You have three sides. You're a triangle. And what can I do to figure it out? I knew that my full shape was 500 centimeters what's the area of my new shape oh some people are like dude it's 250. how'd you know it was 250. well because mr frank this whole thing was 500 and you cut it in half you divided it by two you took the base times height figured it out it was 500 then you divided by two you cut it in half so you know the area of this is 250. All right, guys, there it is. That's how you solve it. You figure out the base times the height, and then you divide it by two. That's all you're doing today. Uh, any questions, please let me know. Hope you've enjoyed my demonstration. Uh, we'll see you around sixth grade. Have fun with geometry. Geometry's the best. And uh, see you guys Friday for our Google Meet, if you can make it.